This simple button right here can literally scale your designs in multiple different prompts within a few short seconds, helping you get outstanding designs just like this that is definitely tied to products that's selling extremely well on Etsy. And this process that I'm going to share with you can help you create and sell different type of bundle sets as well, like digital products. For this example here, this is a digital product listing that's given different variations of the design and they sold 412 products just in the last 30 days and it's only been around for two months and this is probably one of the easiest ways for you to create different variations that you can start selling as well and in today's video i'm going to share with you how to do this so you can actually scale your design to multiple design prompts that can help you sell best selling products within a few short seconds i'm gonna share this all with you coming up next So today we're going to jump into my creative prompt AI tool. This is a tool I built for my Etsy community that makes it really easy for you to find amazing designs to create. And it does AI generation within a few short seconds. And we have our niche finder where we're able to find over a hundred niches for its Tumblr wrap, t-shirts, sweatshirts, just to name a few. And you can see we have easy access to all of the best sellers on Etsy. So if we jump in this and simply head over to sloth designs, it'll pull up only for us the best selling products on Etsy. So this is going to be extremely helpful for us when we are designing our products because whatever we create needs to be based upon a bestseller. Now, if you do want to get access to this tool along with my private coaching as well as my community and our online classes, I make sure I leave all the details down in my description box below for you to get all of this along with our creative prompt tool to help you sell well on Etsy. Now, with that being said, we definitely want to first go in here and actually find a top trending niche target. But one thing I like to do as well is just go into the major category of animals here, which is our main category category that we're going to focus on and when I click on this as you're going to see here it's going to search up animal t-shirt but it's only going to show us the best selling products and popular nows and one of the products that I found to do extremely well is this goose type of design again anything goose on Etsy right now is going to do extremely well but this is definitely tying in popular phrases that we can explore further make more things out of and redesign and recreate ourselves so we can see some data on this that is it has been around just for two months so 98 times just within that short time frame of being around and and we can see that three people bought this in the last 24 hours so there's something with this that's definitely doing well now our goal today is to take this but remix this and design this in multiple ways and we're going to scale out this prompt to create different variations of this many different phrases of this and definitely mass produce this in a very quick way so with that being said we're going to just simply right click and copy the image then i want to head over to my create a prompt tool and the space that we're going to spend some time in today is the image to prompt this is going to help us get the creative prompt for our design but then we're going to expand this further by scaling out the many prompts that we have so that being said i open this up i want to go ahead and choose my design and we have this ease of use to simply hit Control v to copy in command v if you're on mac i'm on pc so i'm just going to simply copy the mock-up image here and it's going to give us a creative and descriptive prompt we can use for our design and we see that being done here again we see the image that it was able to extract now this is definitely something we want to use to remix and scale even further now we can actually go in here a little bit further because for some reason the ai is thinking this is a duck but it's very well a goose but that's why we added in the edit prompt feature just to put in that human experience for you to change anything that you find is not working so we're going to remove all of the areas with, with the ducks and put the goose then we're going to hit save our changes here everything is done so notice here how it was able to identify the element able to identify the things around the element but it was also smart enough to pick up the text which is perfect again i like seeing the prompt before i generate so i know exactly what the outcome is going to be or at least have an idea of what's going to be but from here we can actually go a step further we can actually utilize this image description here to be the baseline of how we either remix this or scale this design now today's video we're definitely going to utilize the scale feature here because i think we can scale this out to many different phrases maybe the goose is doing different things that we can actually target different people here so with that being said we click on the scale option here and now we're going to utilize ai to scale out this prompt to target many different variations that we can build out our design now we can be as vague as we want or as descriptive as we want the more vague we are the more creative the ai is going to be in regards to the prompts and phrases it's going to target but the more descriptive we are even with the amount of prompts we want to see extra that's going to be more of a better outcome because we're going to be very descriptive 
so that we can get unique designs that we know to do extremely well. So we're going to add in our scaling here. I'm definitely going to put in for the AI, follow the same design style, the same font layout, but we're going to change the goose and have the goose do different things and then have phrases related to that. We're going to create 10 different variations and we're going to target some sports we're going to target some hobbies like reading we're going to target some interest like gardening and then we're going to add in different things to this all right so we're going to open this up i like using the mic on my computer just to make it easier for me to prompt and just in conversational language so we do that here keep the same style of the goose but i want you to add in different phrases and have the goose do different things related to certain hobbies like sports or maybe gardening or reading books but just utilize different phrases and make 10 variations of this all right so that's really how i do it right you can type this in if you want you can be very vague if you want i like to just use conversational language again i have all the phrases here again probably not in the best grammar structure but we are going to keep the same style of the goose we're going to add in different phrases we're going to have the goose do different things like hobbies or sports or gardening or just reading books and to make sure that the phrase is going to align with whatever that goose is doing and then we're going to have 10 variations now just to be sure we're not going Going to copy the exact same design again the prompt is getting inspiration from what we see here but if i were to generate this on a different page like i go into my ai generator here put in the exact prompt we can see that this is definitely bring in a variation now we can go in here a little bit more and talk about the type of text we want to have but i think having variations is going to be extremely helpful but again we can make all those changes if we want to but still build this out into different variations so the only thing we have to do here because we have our basic prompt here that we're going to change into different variations is hit apply scaling and literally within a few short moments we're going to have 10 very complex very creative prompts is going to generate for us new variations of the design that we just created following exactly what we put in here to keep the same style bring in different variations of phrases and have the goose do different things such as hobbies and literally within a few short seconds we were able to use ai to get 10 variations of this design and you'll see exactly how this is the original prompt we gathered here a playful cartoon goose with a cheerful expression joyfully waddles and then we go down here with the variation again the same line is about the same here a playful cartoon goose but then it's doing something different right reading a book cozy underneath the tree and notice here how we have a different phrase lost in a good book again the same type of style same type of element with the goose but we told the ai to have the goose do different hobbies and have text related to that hobby in the phrase and we can see that being done here that's variation one again we have variation two that the goose here is still joyfully in a cartoon style tending a garden again filled with daisies and tiny sparkles but notice how the phrase is different and related to what the goose is doing growing joy one plant at a time one thing cool about this is that we never told the ai the actual phrase we want AI was creative enough to tie in the phrase with what the goose is actually doing, which can save us so much time when we're trying to scale these designs. And again, we have this one, right? We said that we want some things also related to sports. So it says a playful cartoon goose. That's the style that we have. But notice how it's kicking in a soccer ball in the nice type of daisies and tiny sparkles. But now the phrase is different where it says kicking it with joy. And then obviously it's bringing that same type of design style. And again, we can go on and on and see the different variations, see the different type of text see what it's bringing in regards to hobbies interests but we can see that we were able to utilize one simple mock-up image as a reference to build out 10 different phrases 10 different variations and 10 different new products we can create right now with ai and again we just put 10 we can go and put 20 different variations we can go in here and do this in bulk and recreate many, many designs just within a few short seconds but this is how you're able to scale these designs that we see to do extremely well and then bring in our own variations of this in our own unique style that can do extremely well so i'll use one of the variations so you'll see what we were able to gather as a result and here's what we were able to gather as a result and i think that came out extremely well these are the type of variations you were able to get when you are designing these type of products and this could definitely be a design we could create and sell on etsy and definitely focus on a different type of variation but still staying within the trend of what we know works and here is another example of what we were able to grab as well. We can see again, the a goose is reading a book and this brings in a design that where we said bring in a hobby or an interest. The text relate to what the goose is doing. So it says lost in a good book. Again, this is just one more variation of what we were able to create that could do extremely well and could save us so much time. So where is this helpful? So this is helpful if you're trying to create t-shirt designs or sweatshirt designs, you're trying to be different and find some trends and remix them or redesign 
redesign them in a unique way to bring something different. This is also good if you are somebody who are selling digital type of products like designs just like this. You can actually create this to be bundle sets. And you can see, again, we were able to create 10 different variations. That could be 10 different designs you add into your bundle to sell as a product for people to purchase. And you can see just how easy it is to get these type of variations because this is a product that's selling, again, 30 different design styles, selling as a digital product bundle. It sold 36 products and this is just a digital product that means when someone purchases it there's nothing the owner has to do because it will get automatically downloaded to the customer's account and therefore they're able to have that accessible to them which again i think is probably one of the most passive ways to sell these type of products on etsy and so again you're able to create different t-shirts create different bundle sets and this could definitely be something that could sell well like this bundle here so 412 times just in the last 30 days it's only been around for two months and it's bringing in different phrases different type of art styles and this could again Again, be something we create in our own variation our own unique way but create different bundle sets that we can sell on Etsy so again print on demand could do well but also digital product as a bundle opportunities could do well also so if you do want to get access to this tool this is a part of my membership community where you're able to get private coaching from me you able to get access to my live classes you able to get access to my community as well as my creative prompt AI tool to help you create and sell on Etsy again all the details to get access to this is down in my description box below for every member that join you get credits to help you design products to help you sell well on etsy again if you do want to get access to all of this to help you sell better on etsy i make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below and i can't wait to see the designs you create and scale for your etsy business as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video